Have you ever been so focused on a project that your entire life, your workspace, just falls into complete disarray? I know I haven't, but some of you may have experienced that, and so I fabricated a 100% artificial pigsty in my office. And in this video, we're gonna flip it from this into the ultimate home bike workshop and office. I won't notice much of a difference in my life, but maybe it will help you. I definitely haven't been living like this for the last few months. With the help of my wife Val, I've been completely renovating this office space into my dream workshop, or at least as much as I can in a spare bedroom in an apartment in Los Angeles. Today I'm finishing up the like renovation, but before I do that, I've got a ride I have to do, and it's a five minute power test. Plan is, shoot for 400 watts. Every time I do an intense ride, I wear my shocks. I've got a lot of big plans for 2023, and this office is only one part of them. To make all these things happen, I've partnered with a lot of great brands, including Shox. They're one of my favorites, I've been using them for years, and I love wearing their bone conducting headphones while I'm out on a ride. It's nice because they don't cover up my ears. See, you can see my whole ear. Which means I can hear when cars are zooming past me, but I can also hear the music I'm listening to when I'm trying to get that new PR. Just finish the effort, and I gotta be honest, my legs let me down. Unlike the shocks, which held on strong the whole time. Five minutes is nothing for them. In fact, I wore these things while I was riding across the loneliest road for two days. I wasn't listening to music for the full two days, but I would, I would turn it on every once in a while when I needed like a, a little extra boost. The official specs are that the battery will give you 10 hours of music or, or calls, which again, I literally experienced that, and it's the truth. I guess basically what I'm saying is, if you like to listen to podcasts or music on your rides or when you're exercising or whatever and you don't have a pair of these, you should definitely get one. If you want to grab a pair, right now is the perfect time because the Shock Spring Sale is about to start. So if you use my link in the description and the code MitchBoyer15, you'll get 15% off and that starts now and goes through the 12th and then the official sale starts on the 13th. Again, if you've been thinking about picking up a pair, right now is the best time. All the details are down below. I want to thank Shocks again for sponsoring this video. I try to work with sponsors whose products I actually use. It's perfect. All right, it's disappointing when you set like a high goal and then you don't achieve it. But I'm in it for the long term, so didn't hit 400 today, maybe next time. All right, we're back, I'm showered, let's talk about this space. So this is the desk, this is where I am like 99% of the time. The desk used to be like side by side over here, but we moved Val's desk over here to kind of open up more room for the shop. Val works as a food stylist, so most of the time she's on set, but when she's like invoicing and answering emails and stuff, she works over here sometimes. I've got a whiteboard up above. I'll usually use that when I'm brainstorming and working on an outline or something. Don't look at it too much, you'll get spoilers. So music, we got the Sonos, we got some plants. Gotta have plants, cannot take credit for that. Uh, that is all Val and I'm very grateful for it. At my computer workstation, a lot of you ask about this keyboard. It's the Iquinix F96. I saw it on a video from Ali Abdal. The other keyboard here, this is the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. It actually helps me to edit. As you can see, I can scrub through footage faster and it's got a bunch of shortcuts built in. I edit in DaVinci Resolve, used to work with Premiere a long time ago, I used to work with like Final Cut back when it was Final Cut 7, because I'm old. I love DaVinci Resolve. And we'll probably never go back, especially paired with the speed editor. I will try to drop links for everything in the description. If I don't mention something and you kind of see it and you're wondering what it is, drop in the comments and let me know. I'll do my best to answer it. I found out you can use the Insta360, uh, which one is this, the RS, as a webcam. Check this out. Ta-da! <laughs> this is awesome, super wide. You can actually probably see more of the room from this shot than you can on that shot. If we ever have a like a video chat, this is the view you'll see. Last little bit at the desk here. My laptop's down here. I got some backup hard drives, I'm backing stuff up at the moment. A little rig over here if I want to put the big camera on this angle. My Mamiya 6, favorite camera for all you film camera nerds out there. And this little guy Val and I picked up in Japan. I don't recall the name, the premise from what I understand. Feel free to correct me. You pick this up uh, when you start a new endeavor and it's supposed to bring you good fortune. And then once you accomplish what you're after, you bring it back. Hopefully it's bringing me good fortune. That's the desk. Now we're starting to get into the fun stuff. This workbench I picked up from Ikea. Originally, I wanted to get like a full proper tool chest. The one I found, I think it was from Husky 
and I ended up buying it, but we couldn't get it into the car. It was like 300 pounds and I don't live on the ground floor of my apartment and there are no elevators. So I returned it immediately. But so far this has been great. I've got, you know, two levels of storage. It's not the prettiest storage right now, but I'm slowly kind of organizing the ideas there are things that I use often and then things that I use less often or that are large go down below. Chain wax setup over here. If you want an easy way to dive into the world of waxing, this kit from Cycle Wax is amazing. I got this little, I don't know what you call it. And I store a bunch of little bits and ends. Like literally there are cable ends here and quick links because you go through those as you're waxing your chain. This very excited about. I have a video coming up with Nolan from Bike Sauce. He's an awesome guy. He gave me some stickers. He also gave me this actually. So this is really cool. I use the Insta360 X3 all of the time. I used it earlier in this video and now I'm using this mount. I actually used this while I was filming that um, five minute power effort earlier. Long story short, it's just a better way to mount your Insta360 to your chest mount. I'll show you more in another video, but um, I'll, I'll put a link down too. So check that out. My caliper, this is new. I'm very excited about having a caliper. A bunch of Silka products. I'm an official Silka ambassador this year. I love their tubeless sealant. I'm really excited to try out their wax as well. Before waxing, I used their Synergetic Lube and that was awesome. Yeah, if you have any questions about any of this other stuff, like let me know uh, and I can make a video on it. This is a birthday card illustration my friend Jesse made. He worked on Bob's Burgers and he has something in the pipeline. I'm not sure if I can share it or not. So I'll link to his Instagram. Down here, I've got this rubber mat. Um, it's a heavy duty exercise mat. I live in a rental. I wasn't going to rip up all of the carpet. It's been a few weeks and this has been good. Can't talk to the long-term longevity of it, obviously, yet, but I'll let you know. Behind me is my Wahoo. Now that I have all of this floor space for activities, I can ride my trainer in here. This is my pegboard wall. Val helped me set it up. The pegboard came from Home Depot. I'm not gonna put a link in the description because it's just pegboard. I mounted it, I thought it was level. The next day I came in and looked at it and it was not level. All right, just uh, put up the pegboard again. But it, it looks great now. Um, Val painted over it, same color paint as the wall so it blends in really nicely. Tools that I use pretty often are over here, so that way when I'm at the workbench, I can just grab a tool. Tools I use a little less often, at least that's the idea. My office was just turning into a complete mess. The thing that really kicked it off, at one point I had like four bikes and only one bike rack. That was that mount up on the wall. I loved it, it was like this 3D printed mount from Etsy. My bike looked great, but I had Val's bike, I had my brother-in-law's bike, and I just didn't have room for all of them. So I got this thing. It is the perfect solution for like storing bikes in an apartment, in my opinion. I think it's great. It's gonna be the finale of the video. I don't know how they do office tours. Um, let's look at this bookshelf and then I'll show you the rack. By the way, I have these little globes. They're just paper lanterns with daylight balanced light bulbs in them. I have a really sophisticated pulley system here. Check this out. I pull this, I put it on this hook and then now it's out of the way. <laughs> but I put it down so I get better lighting when I'm over there. This is a bookshelf. Down here in this mess is a uh, printer and that's all I'm gonna show you in there. Got my hardcore weight set up. I would flex, but I don't wanna like make you faint. So I use those sometimes or I will. The idea here is that I've got like camera equipment here. I've got a couple lenses. I do use a teleprompter for a lot of videos. I'm not using it right now um, because I'm just winging it. But usually I'm reading from a script and I'm using this thing. It's the Padcaster, Parrot Teleprompter. Got my drone, Shox headphones, this little thing that I use to put my phone on my handlebars while I'm using Zwift. Two books, it's a big library, and my collection of water bottles up here, as well as another camera mounted in that direction. That's the bookshelf. Behold the bike rack. So I have four bikes here, but if you can believe it, there's gonna be a fifth bike soon. My BMC Road Machine, Fels Cannondale Synapse. Uh, my specialized Hard Rock. Full video coming up with this, but you're getting a sneak preview today. Uh, for a second, I thought about blurring this out, like censoring it the entire video, but that would be just a complete pain. So if you wanna pause the video and, and look at it, you can, but in about a month, full video. And then last but not least, this Peugeot from my brother-in-law, James. I broke this bike, I fixed this bike, and then I had an idea about how I could make it even better. So if you've been waiting on this, 
don't worry, there is a video coming, very excited about it. And I still have a bunch of room in the back here. So I can, for example, take out Val's bike and stick it on this little stand that I have, or I can put it on the full park tool stand. And then back here I've got my gravel wheels. I've got my um, all my kit, it's kind of like stored away over here shoes and a bunch of other stuff. I've got my bike rack, like my car bike rack down there. And all of that is in this standard size closet. The beautiful piece of equipment that has allowed me to do all of this um, is this G bike stand from Teal Triangle. I love it so much. I paid for it with my own money. I reached out to them and I was like, hey, love your product. Do you have like a coupon code or anything? And they gave me one. So there's a coupon code that you all can use. I mean, it's awesome. So I'm, I'm able to still use all my closet space and I have room for four bikes and like, Look at this. I'm 6'1", so my wingspan's about that much, and I can just spin around in this room. I'm also 35, and now I get dizzy very easily. So like I said earlier, um, this is, sets up the foundation for a lot of really exciting projects this year. I'm gonna be working in this space a lot, but also just sitting right here editing videos for you. I know this is a little different than what I normally do, but hopefully you found it at least a little entertaining, maybe even learned something. Either way, thanks for watching. Thanks again to Shox for sponsoring this video and use code MitchBoyer15 at checkout for 15% off.